This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to St. Peter's United Church of Christ. Today is Youth Sunday, and we welcome you to our video worship service. Let us join together and sing. He's got the whole world in his hands. children, young or old, big or small, short or tall, brown or white. We're all precious in his sight. God is always with us even when we feel like we are all alone. God promised to love us never changes. God was with Noah in the great flood. He gave a rainbow as a sign of promise that he would love us and support us. The rainbow reminds us today that God still loves us. God was with the people during the time of Passover when they were freed from slavery. The rainbow was a promise of being set free. God was with the people of the Exodus when they wandered the desert for 40 years during the search of the promised land. The rainbow was hope for a new home. God was with the people when they were taken away from, promise, from the promised land during exile. The rainbow was a reminder that they would someday return home. God was with the people when they waited for the new Messiah, for the new king to fulfill God's promise. The rainbow was a sign of hope. God was with the people when Jesus talked about bringing God's kingdom here on earth. The rainbow was a picture 
of a new world of love for all to see. God was with Jesus when he was crucified on the cross. The rainbow was a sign of hope beyond the pain and suffering of this world. God was with Jesus when he rose from the tomb. The amazing rainbow was seen again in the sunrise of everlasting life. God was with us when the people of faith were bullied and hurt. For believing in his son, the rainbow kept them trusting in God's goodness. Every time the people suffered and cried out, God was still there. God's rainbow was still offering hope. God is with us today as we are sheltered in our homes. God still has a rainbow awaiting us, reminding us that there will be better times ahead, reminding us to be the light for others. Shine. God is always with us. We are all God's children, lifted in God's love, hopeful in God's light. All thanks be to God. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well, staying safe, missing all of you, praying everyone is doing well, and hope to see you soon. Let us all join our hearts in prayer. O oh, great creator, we come to worship and praise you on this day. We come to give thanks for all you have done for us. You have given us life and breath. You have given us a beautiful world to live in. You have given us amazing people who love us. Everything we have is a gift from you. Oh God, you are good all the time. Thank you for the goodness you have placed in us. Thank you for the light that you will that you let shine in our hearts. Lord of all thee we raise. These are words of grateful praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I see trees of green and red roses too. I see them bloom for me and for you. And I think to myself, this is God's wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white. The bright blessed day and the dark sacred night and I think to myself this is God's wonderful world the colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky I see them in the faces of the people passing by I see friends shaking hands how do you do they're really saying Our first scripture reading for today is from Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And God spoke, light, and light appeared. God saw that light was good, and God separated light from dark. God named the light day, and he named the dark night. Please hear the story of God's rainbow from the book of Genesis chapter 9, verses 12 through 16. God said, this is the sign of the 
covenant I am making between me and you and everything living around you and everyone living after you. I'm putting my rainbow in the clouds, a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. From now on, when I form a cloud over the earth and the rainbow appears in the cloud, I'll remember my covenant between me and you and everything living that never again will flood waters destroy all life. When the rainbow appears in the cloud, I'll see it and remember the eternal covenant between God and every last living creature on earth. Many years later, God sent another rainbow of pure light into the world. Let's read from John Gospel, chapter eight, verse 12. Jesus said, I am the world's light. No one who follows me stumbles around in darkness. I provide plenty of light to live in. Jesus taught his followers that it was important to walk in God's light. Let us read from John Gospel, chapter 12, verse 35. Walk by the light so darkness doesn't destroy you. If you walk in darkness, you don't know where you are going. How do you have the light? Believe in the light. Then the light will be within you and shining in your life. You will be children of the light. Jesus reminds us that we are God's light too. Please hear the words from the gospel recorded by Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14. You are here to be light, bringing out the God colors in the world. God is not a secret to be kept. We are going public with this, as public as a city on a hill. If I make you light bearers, you don't think I'm going to hide you under a bucket, do you? I'm putting you on a light stand. Shine! Please join us in singing with great joy, this little light of mine. Little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Cause Jesus gave this light to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, Jesus gave this light to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave this light to me. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shine it from the highest hill, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine from the highest hill, I'm gonna let it shine. Shine it from the highest hill, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Get those lights real high. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Red and orange and yellow, I'm gonna let it shine. Blue and green and purple, I'm gonna let it shine. All the colors of the rainbow, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Yes, Jesus gave this light to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, Jesus gave this light to me, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave this light to me, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, 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 let it shine. 
it shine. Thank you, scripture readers, for sharing stories about the rainbow and God's light. Today in our lesson, we are learning about God's promise, which came first in the book of Genesis, a rainbow that said to Noah that God would protect the earth and protect all living things. The promise that God made reminds me of a promise I once made. This little ring symbolizes the promise I made with my beloved when we were married that we would protect each other and support each other and be there for each other in good times and bad. And that's sort of like the promise God made to Noah. In fact, if you take this ring of gold and you cover it up halfway, it almost looks like a one colored rainbow, doesn't it? Well, the rainbow is many colors, all broken apart for us to see how they each have their own beauty. And what's remarkable is that they are all part of the greater light, God's greater light. They're all part of the bright white light Broken apart by a prism, we can then see the rainbow separated out by the drops of rain and emerging sunlight, all the different colors that have, are part of the rainbow. And now I'd like you to listen to some of our Sunday school students as they tell you about the colors of the rainbow and what they see in this world today that remind them of that color. Each of those colors brings a certain share of God's blessings to their mind. So kids, take it away. One of the colors in the rainbow is yellow. When I see yellow, I see the bright shining sun, the big smiling star, which lights up and warms our world. I see golden flowers in God's beautiful world. I see the brightness in lemons, which keeps things fresh. I see the happiest of colors shining for all to see. When I see orange, I think of the sweet taste of orange juice or popsicles. I see the light of a campfire and feel its warmth and its glow. Like God's love for me, I see the deep, beautiful colors of a sunset, which gave me peace. I know orange only happens when red and yellow come together for a new creation. When I see green, I think of spring and growing things. I see signs that that uh, the world is coming alive and full of growing things. I see tall trees w waving in the wind, reaching for the sky. I see lettuce in a tasty green salad, God's food for us to eat. I see the green grass where God's children play. I see that things are always being made new from one season to the next. The rainbow has a band of red. I see the beauty of a rainbow. Rose, I taste the sweetness of a cherry. I see a, the nose of a clown. Hear the laughter of God's children. I see shining, shining fire trucks and think, think of all God's helping hands. I see a Valentine's heart 
the reminder of God's love for all, us all. I remember the blood of Jesus who died for us all. When I see blue, I see a sky with rays of sunshine. I see the far-reaching heavens above. I see the comfort of my favorite pair of jeans. I see the clear and living waters of our rivers and lakes. I see God's reflection rolling in the waves of the endless ocean. I see God's deep and lasting peace. Purple is part of the rainbow, too. Purple flowers are reminders of the beauty in God's world. Purple is part of the color of royalty. Our God rules over all. Purple is the color of the wine or juice we use for communion. It reminds us that Jesus offered us the cup of new life. Purple reminds us of the king that God sent to be among us. Jesus is the king that lives, king that lives today. Thank you, kids. That was great. Red, yellow, orange, green, blue, purple, all different colors of the rainbow remind us of many different things that God has as part of this world. But what about the greater light? When we see white light, we have to still remind ourselves that it's all the rainbow colors put together. And it's the purity of God that comes from all things blended together. The white light reminds us of the joy found in all of creation working together. All God's love at its best and brightest. And it comes from all the magical differences that form God's kingdom. That's a rainbow that's still with us today. You see, all God's children, no matter how different we look, and no matter how different we think or talk or act, we are all part of the kingdom that God wishes for us to be part of here on earth. And in God's kingdom, no one is left out. Everyone's welcome. And that's the kingdom that Jesus tried to teach us about. That there were places for everybody, even the poorest people, even the people imprisoned, and even the people that society sometimes left behind. The white light is like a rainbow. And it's all packed into one big shining source of love. Now, God used the rainbow as a sign for Noah back in his day. But what about the beautiful rainbow that we still have in front of us today? It still needs all those colors to show its beauty, to show the wideness of God's love. And it takes every color of light blended together to shine the brightest. No matter what our light shines, in yellow or blue, or in combinations like orange and green. No matter what color it is, we are all part of God's rainbow. And we shine best when Jesus shines in us. One of our scriptures today reminded us of the light of the world, Jesus. Jesus welcomes all God's children, all parts of the rainbow, to be together as one, to love each other, and to lift each other up. He calls us to be the light for each other. And each of us with our differences in appearance or shade of skin tone or color of hair, or even when we don't have so much hair at all, we all make up God's rainbow. And that means we're all part of God's bright light and God's promise for the world around us. The song we sang earlier, This Little Light of Mine, it reminds us of the light that we receive from God. And you know what? Even the smallest little light shines out in the darkness and takes all the darkness away. Even our little light can shine through difficult times and through darkness that occurs in our lives. And God tells us not to hide our light under a bushel, but to let it shine from the highest hill, plain for all to see. He didn't bury the rainbow under the ocean, and he didn't hide it away in some corner of a canyon. 
Nope. He put it out there where everybody could see. He painted the sky with the rainbow, the big arching colored rainbow in the sky. And that painted the sky with the message that he loves us and he will take care of us. You see, God asks us to paint a brighter world today for all the other people in our lives. And he asks us all to shine together as colors of the rainbow. None of us can beat the whole rainbow on our own. We need the other colors together with us to make the brightest rainbow. That means we need to show our love for everyone around us and to show them that we have God's love and the light of Jesus in our hearts. We help those who are less fortunate than us, and that's a way of showing God's light. We try to give a lift to those who are troubled or sad, and that's showing God's love light. We show our compassion to the poor. We don't put people down or bully them or shut them out, because when we include people and we make them feel welcome and make them feel as important as we are, we're showing God's love light. And we sure make sure that everyone is free to experience the joy of God's love, just the same as we want to enjoy God's love for ourselves. You see, we become the light when we love God above all else. And we become the rainbow for others when we work hard at loving each and every one of our neighbors. Because you see, each and every one of those people is a child of God, just like we are. You're all part of God's rainbow. Paint the world around you with beautiful colors and shine like Jesus for all to see. join in singing at home. This is a song we learned this year. It's called Let's Paint the Rainbow! Go.
Good morning. Indeed, as we have been hearing, the rainbow is a reminder of God's love for us always. And because of that, we are always welcome to bring before God our joys and our concerns. And so as we enter into our time of prayer this day, I would like to lift up one prayer concern for Diane Schultz, who did have surgery this past week, but is recovering at home. Every year, we celebrate Youth Sunday at St. Peter's on Mother's Day. But as you may have heard me explain in the past, the church calls this day something different. It's called the Festival of the Christian Home. Now, such a name has special significance this year, as many may feel stuck in our homes. But I invite you instead, especially today, to see your home as a worship space, as a sanctuary. And with that in mind, let us pray. Creator God, you know us all from birth into eternity. You lead us into life. You make your home with us. Send your spirit, O God of loving, caring, and giving. Fill our homes, our worship spaces with your spirit. Bless our homes as we celebrate our home in you. Fill our hearts and homes with your joy, your song, your love. As followers of Jesus, our brother, we pray. And we pray as he has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
shine like a rainbow. Love you and see you soon. Before we conclude worship this morning, I do have one announcement to pass along. I wanted to let folks know that the consistory has scheduled a virtual online meeting this week to take place on Zoom on Tuesday evening at 8 o'clock. So if you have any questions or concerns for the consistory, please be in touch with them. Thank you. Please join us in our sending message. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face on you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace. May you always find God's rainbow in the storm of life. And may you always be God's light for the world to see. Let all God's children say, Amen. Amen. I want to thank all the kids who participated in this video. I want to thank the parents who helped them make the videos. But most of all, I want to say thank you on behalf of St. Peter's United Church of Christ for the many wonderful Sunday school teachers that work with our students all year long, teaching them the great news about Jesus being the light of the world, teaching them about God's rainbow and God's promise to continue to love them. So a special thank you to you teachers and a special thank you to our music directors, Scott and Mary Jane Weir, who helped us throughout the year to learn songs that taught us about love through the rainbow.